Clay Clay Guida was just known yeah. for having a motor and yeah. just running all day on people. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's fascinating to me. I mean, the, the and I I mean this is kind of like maybe not like controversial, but like I almost think like that's like people always, especially wrestling fans I, I, that are maybe also combat sports fans, they kind of love the old stuff. Like the 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 style matchups in the '90s, like the UFCs, and then the pride like pride was very like, you know, here's this 400 pound guy versus this 160 pound <laughs> guy, you know, like, uh, uh, but Bob Sapp. That's all I think about when right, I think of yeah, big ass dude matches. <laughs> um, and and I'll I'll admit that stuff's very entertaining. Um, and and. And it's almost like now the UFC is like, it's almost like, I don't know, it's kind of boring because everybody is so great at like everything that nobody really stands out. Is that, is that, yep. you think that that's sense. real? Yeah. I mean, you know, that's kind of an issue I have with it a little bit. And like, and that's kind of what I like about, I think that's maybe what like wrestling fans like is the, is there's still a lot of like stylistic kind of matchups yeah i i know it's not real or, or predetermined or whatever so but it's still like this you know uh it's sort of like two two people with different styles sort of portraying this like fight or this whatever this 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 wrestling match yep and um i think that's what's intriguing to a lot of people and uh i think that's kind of cool that that still exists in in wrestling um I mean, with that being said, same thing I was saying about how, what what drew me to mixed martial arts in terms of like being a jack of all trades. It's I feel like it's 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 the same in in wrestling. Um, you have to be so good at so many different things uh, if you want to be really good, in my opinion. Yep. Like you got to have great cardio. You got to have you know um, you, you do need to have some type of level of. You don't have to be the strongest guy in the world, but like you you do have to have some type of level of of strength. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a still a very athletic, it's an incredibly athletic thing, uh, especially the people that are doing it at the highest level. Um, they are like some of the best athletes in the world in, in their own unique way. I, I realize they might not, you know, they'd probably lose a real fight to whatever some, you know, some unranked guy in the UFC, but like, that's not really what it's about. It's, it's, it's entertainment. It's a, it's about, you know, uh, enjoying what you're watching. And so uh, on top of all those things, being athletic, whatever, having a certain skill set, whether you're a high flyer, uh, like a, 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 a submission type guy or a striker or a power move, supl you know, suplexes and throws, like you gotta be, you gotta be entertaining. You know, you have yep. to, that's a whole nother skill set. So um, you get, you just, you have to be so, you have to be, you really got, good yeah. at a lot of different things. 